good evening, good evening, good evening. You're locked in to Fantastic Friday here on New Stock 93 FM. And this year is truly Mr. Fresh Concepts. Yeah, it's a time called Talk to Tim with Kim. But you don't know, as I said, for living for Kim and Kim and Kim right now. Kim, I hope you're out there relaxing, having a grand time. Hi, chilling. Kim. Yeah, it's about We stress. miss you. Yeah. Bad girl, bad girl, she'll be saying, well, how can I reach out? <laughs> she not even send a message to reach out. Anyway, people, I hope Kim is doing you know, great, chilling, enjoying the Friday. Because the weekend time, you know, the weekend, weekend is here. All right. So, it started thing with Kim, but right now, I'm going to be filling in. So, it's talk and gel. All right. So, we're continuing our segment, people. Last week, we had women ask men answer. No, this week they are all here together in peace. It's not war, people. Peacefully. Uh, and pink. Some people come out in a book or that way. You know, that's it. So Making points. Popping. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, but apparently it's all for people. Let's get to the questions. So I'm just going to refresh your memory. We have guests with us right now. We're going to go from right to left. That's my right. On the right, we have... Thank you, Brewster. No, I should have been burning. I mean, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I don't know why I let go. Hi, guys. It's Thank you, Brewster. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank and you. continue. Malcolm Henry in the middle. Malcolm in the middle. middle. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alisa, put a little bit of oomph. Some of the show? No, 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 no. Sure. So, 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 so. Hi, everybody. It's Lisa. Oh, yeah, you can <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, but that's Lisa in the building with us as well. So we have Pinky, we have Malcolm, we have Lisa. Listen, never get my phone. Listen, tell the people themselves to ship the package. Wait, what? Ship me? And I said, the limit at 10 pounds. I'm not bringing it over 10 pounds. So. All right. All right. So I have a lot. I have lots of questions here for you. So I'm just gonna try and you know get them going. All right. So let's see. All right. So the first question here. Did we have any questions from the last show that we we didn't clear up? Everything was pretty solid, right? Yeah. Oh, Lisa, you were throwing some questions on the WhatsApp for the men. You see me? Did I throw a question for nobody? You, you is me? It's not me. You um, is me? <laughs> <laughs> me is not you. <laughs> All right, so apparently that was a different Lisa, clearly. But here's my first question. We're going to start off with a simple general question that I think most persons really want to understand. What would you say? is what you what do you consider to be a solid relationship like you know you have some sort of friendship you have whatever bullshit entanglement all these you know other terms popping up but what would you say is a solid relationship what does that require don't all attack oh, me as one you know? no <laughs> she didn't have to say it again she gave a look a while ago <laughs> But yeah, what do you consider to be a solid relationship? What do you think it takes? Um, for me, loyalty, trust, uh, somebody that creates a space where you come home, you feel loved, you feel listened to, you feel taken care of. So when tomorrow comes, I can go up the and war and be hated by everybody else. And when I come back home, and I feel at home. So I said, like a safe space then, yeah, a safe, a safe. So yeah. Oh, like when you say home is ready hearted. So you're going and you feel like home, at peace. <laughs> no, that is how you, you catch a man or whatever. The fastest way to a man's house. Like yeah. <laughs> but yeah, good food I guess helps you to come home, you know, on time. What about you, Lisa? When you say salary, yeah. like it's mean, like it's something like a relationship. Yeah, because the other them have so many other terms now. No, I see, I rule out that. No, actual no. relationship. Actual relationship. <laughs> solid. Oh, because oh, I said, oh. them have copy relationship. Them have catch. Them have some more and more. The solid, I mean, sensible one. You can be solid right across the board. You can have a solid situation. Yeah. That is madness. Of course. A solid situation. Do you know how many women are out there with people money for years and mm. they're comfortable in that 
Oh, being comfortable don't mean say tell it now. I no, can assure I'm, I'm, you. I'm, 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 there is going to be a night when she won't call. I can't call. No, man, I'm comfortable. And them, they're yeah. good. No. Like, them solid. You like, said, I tell you, tell you know. anything Because there's that communication and them have that trust. Because you know she's going to be discreet. Lisa, you can't this is called. You know what? I would, I would, I would, I would probably, I would probably believe her if it was another country. But you see, Jamaica, yeah, so? no matter how things might look beautiful, though you get tricked. As I say, you know, there are people who get comfortable and complacent. But I don't mean to them happy, you know, or living them happiest life, you know. Night, like they just learn how to me. cope. Yeah. Them just learn right now off of the roof, gone, and them just live with it. Them just know say them walk up on the side of the house, rain and wash for over this. No, man, we're not talking about those persons, we are talking about people, mm. so them in a them, them relationship, mm. them whatever ship it is, yeah. and them good. The when I get people who marry them, no, no, and I'm saying to you, they don't have they don't have any issues with it. it it's, it's not about being complacent <laughs> from the jump. Mm -hmm. Them did okay, like it open communication, and they are aware of the situation. And them good, them talk about it, and him no say, she not say nothing them discreet. I, I can't tell you that, that's it. The national There's person. not every day, she, she cannot access Who's it that? every time. Who's, Who's the national, national first lady? Who's that? Oh, yeah. 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 I like what you put it though, but even that situation, right, as I said, there's gonna be days where it's gonna be murky, like it's gonna be mix up and blend up. But no, but I'm telling you, that is sign up. That is a problem. Yeah. It's just that people just learn how to hold it, like just, yeah, hold it like a G. But that yeah. means it's perfect. So our yeah, good. Get you no, sorry, that's right. why I correct myself. I never said I correct myself. I said good. And not because something is solid in that you're not gonna have hiccups. Yeah, but what we talk about it. normal hiccup. We're not talking. Imagine you're in a relationship. You are alone. You're not sharing now, you know. You are alone. And you want to call him man. And you cannot call him. No, but you can you have a feel, but you see what I'm saying? These are things that you would have to expect. Yeah, the emotions so, are going to be mixed exactly. into it. Because then she's gonna like, you know, mm -hmm. this is what I have to work with, but then this is how I'm feeling. Yeah. You know? It's gonna be mixed. She can't up, suppress man. the feeling because she knows this is what she has to work with. Mm -hmm. So I tell you, man. Alright, so we can move on. Can we get a little idea of what's popping here? Um, since you mentioned about the problems, what would you say are two, let's go with two, what would you say are two of the most popular conflicts that come up in relationships? What are two of the most popular conflicts you see that we are faced with in our relationships? Lack of communication. Lack of communication? Mm -hmm. Communication um, is always a big deal for you. It's always. And, and let's um, say in consideration. In consideration, I'd say respect and inconsistency. So lack, so lack of respect and inconsistency. So with that, for regardless, you know, none of them not link yet. What about you, Malcolm? What you say? What would be two after speaking generally first? If you want, to be, I mean, speaking no matter. Your answer, your answer can be based on your experience that you give it generally. That's fine. You no know, matter. Just want to get an idea. So generally what I've observed, mm -hmm. especially for couples that have been together for a while, mm -hmm. money is a factor. Money. Money is a money factor. problem. And how it's spent mm -hmm. in the relationship. Especially um, the girl in front of last week. <laughs> we said the man has spent every money and I spent it for now. I get you. Uh, Alright. Uh, and and uh, another thing would be um communication. So I do agree with you that communication is a So big communicate. Big. People, if we're leaving off anything on the, those on the live, those on the WhatsApp line, drop your answers there. We can add them in. Uh MV, what do you say about that? Well, question again. What do you think are two of the most popular problems that we have in relationships these days? We got you communication, we got you inconsideration, we got you inconsistency, we go through lack of trust, and we also go through money management issues. Mm -hmm. Listening to friends and family. Listening to friends, where that call that? No. Not knowing what you want. Not knowing. In, 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 in. in mm. Yeah, man, because you have to know. In our, all right. No, I get earlier, you, man. Earlier, you ask to make a solid relationship. Yeah. A solid relationship, Um, everybody has to understand their own priorities. Yeah. Do, you know, um, the priorities. Non negotiable is what I'm going to look for in our person. Yeah. In our partner. I have to know what you want. Where, 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 if somebody have that. Or don't have that, you know, Sarah, you don't want that person. Right. And then you have to also have some things where you don't want, but willing to compromise on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know you're not going to get everything. 
So what mash up most relationships are when people people um um non-negotiables not aligned. Or some people are make up some compromises where they really should not make because of maybe insecurities. Right. And then so so when so in a relationship when when two people just not align in what they want from each other, that I go mash up. Yeah. You know where that call that. Okay. Well, I get it. I just say I think it falls under you know some form of um, lack of I would say self confidence. I think or self. You know, cause I mean, if you're not sure about yourself and where your purpose in the relationship, it's gonna fall apart. Some people it? just lonely. You know? Yeah, I just want to pick a company and just sit down somewhere. Yeah, and just accept the first. They don't have no look at definition mm-hmm. of the relationship. They're just dead. We dead. We dead. Mm-hmm. Good morning. How you doing? What you eat? All right, take care. Have a good day. No, it, well, mood is different, you know, but when that becomes the norm, no, everyday thing, you know, there's something wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. Consistent. yeah. I mean, she gave her one day where she don't feel like she in the mood. You know, you talk to her about that after on the move on and go back, you know, to the happy life. But she, every day, just so you know, just, just say, well, we're together one year now. I look for the last week of conversation. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Have a good day. I like that. Dry, dry, dry. You know, say something right there. So, we don't give up on each other. We don't just basically hang on for life. What nothing wrong with talking, though, for like, talk to somebody to see if, you know, if you like them. And mm-hmm. then say, you know what? You like that person. Oh, introductory stages. Yeah, I'm going to talk to them. Talk to them for time. Hey, listen to me. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know how time is so important. Yeah, but I don't have it. Why girls feel them hard? Girls, well, you see, ladies. ladies. Yeah. Anyway, we're not going to have fun. Back up, back up to the cafe. I'm not talking to nobody to pass no time. I see you guys something for the second half. Come here till you say, yo, we're not like. My question to you people now. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. The one that got away. The one that got away. Do you regret breaking up with someone or regret not treating someone how you should have treated them? I don't have regrets. That's <laughs> not that's it. Not that. <laughs> Anything no, no. that I did. I, I, no, when my seminar have that, I've mm. I've I'm never in situation there yeah. like, I'm, you look back on none all the exes them. No, now. I didn't believe You have two ex, how much ex out? Everybody be right. <laughs> oh my god. But they say usually if there's a consistent trend like that, maybe them say you are the problem. I think it's probably my choice. Your choice. You made yeah, wrong choices. Yeah, so we're, we're good. We don't have no like, no issues with them. But we don't, we don't, I can't look back. Why don't you actually have them? Who fought them across your mind? Look like somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you look know, like a smart, like him better as a boy's first arm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, Kasha do the rocket thing. Like, no, you know, like, like you're trying to get something from my No, I'm not have that to say, mm. um, you know, I should have treated this one in particular right. better or whatever. No. Or if you need us listen I to me, I'll never bother cheating. They're still together. No, sir. Them, they, them, them are big man. Mm-hmm. And they make up their mind and then do what they do. Yeah. And one of the things that I was not going to compromise on is if you would tell me, Sam, here and you want me to be exclusive. Yeah. And then you're outside. I live your best life. Right. I ain't gonna get the most. Yeah, never, never, never. Can't have a relationship in company. No, in comfort, I'm never gonna get the most. All right. So you see, people. All right. So she's getting it out of the way. Anybody else? I don't have regrets. No, no. one. Because everything that I do, mm. it's solely sort of from my heart. Why ladies feel so for them? They make some great decisions. Sometimes when they make some foolish decisions. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why you laugh? But when you what, leave when the did relationship, you just, did you just look to the right. And when you leave well, the relationship, it's not like those things weren't rectified. Mm. I'm okay with apologizing if I'm wrong, right? Right. Wait, so, as a lady, you apologize. Of course, there's yeah. nothing wrong with apologizing. Right. Okay. You know, so I don't have the regrets because I leave and I'm like, okay, whatever you're feeling, that's none of my business. What do you mean none of your business? So this sort of somebody, somebody where you care about him. Yeah, yeah, but that's not going to stop me from caring yeah. for him. Oh. I have boundaries. Yeah. So, if is it that the relationship is finished, part, I still know. care for you. I want the best for you. Mm. Ultimately, you know, mm. I want you to succeed in life and all of those stuff. But honey, 
how you're feeling. That's not my. Your feeling has nothing to do with me. So you move on from that part of the relationship, there, you know. Yeah. It's no longer the love with for that person. But if you call me and say, "Hey, I need help," I'm I'm okay we'll with help. Try and be yeah. a friend. Okay. There's nothing okay. wrong with that. All right. Okay. No, personally, I haven't haven't experienced the one that got away. No. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> let's hope. 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 Let's but that probably when the look back, yeah. But that no means say, that no means say, that no means say you want, but the person, right? Okay. That just means say you're seeing which way. All right, in our next relationship, you know, that's okay. Yeah, you can improve. Why are you afraid? Is that you? Are you afraid to go back? Are you afraid to take back somebody? We're not spinning no, no. We're not no return packages. What the hell? It works for some person. So, uh, can we just say, it has happened before. People said I'm left two years and come back together. And it's the best relationship ever. Well, they're not saying that. So okay. if it's meant to be, mm. it will be. But you're not taking back, can you? And if it's that, that, then it won't. That just means you know? you can't take no more beating. So it done it done. What? It done it done. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing we go go back and then the man go do me worse. Well, I mean, well, for, well, for well, things well, like, we understand, for things like, we don't care, no, physical abuse, we don't, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're probably thinking, what I'm saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, yeah, no, you can forgive past that, no, sir, no, yeah, man, you can't forgive past that, I think the thing is, you see, with cheating, mm-hmm. it's a behavior thing, yeah, and once it's, it becomes embedded in you, it mm-hmm. becomes so hard for you to come out of it, like, you would have to, you ha- you'd have to literally say, okay, I'm going to step away from this and make the change and the effort. And the reality is, in our today's society, mm-hmm. that's not something that most men are willing to do. So like they want either have a bugger girl. So it's like a job they addition thing, they can't, they can't let it go. So you see, the moment he starts the cheating, you probably forgive him one time, mm-hmm. but the second and third time, it's a no. And you don't make the same test in the black. Well, yeah, I, I think it's something that's very general though in 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 habit in anything that you you build a habit around. Yeah. So it's not just about cheating. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's not diligent in how they live their life yeah. will cheat, and not only you but everything else. In life. Mm-hmm. I think it's very general. So like basically, their level of discipline. Eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So them say, okay, I'm gonna diet, but you know, say I'll be a chicken and chicken fried fried and eat. You know, say them not they're not disciplined in that area. Right? Oh, okay. No, but that's why you, but you, you, as I say, you know, you have areas where you know you can play around with, but you're not playing around with the cheating part. Yeah. You play around with the dance. I don't know if. Envy. Remind me, Christine. Envy the party friends trail. Envy, that's why I see you people smile over the side. Yeah. I see you over there, like the breeze, I reach you, I just a chill out. No, man, I don't know how my brain. All right. Rephrase again. All right, so the question is. Yeah. We're talking about um, the one that got away, mm-hmm. right? We're talking about regrets. And we're talking about oh, no, whether or not it got to a, Yeah, but we're talking about whether it got to a point where cheating is involved. Are you oh. a second chance? I give them a, a chance. Try again. All right. Here one. I used to be the second chance. Of mm. Every woman be one. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are they? What are they? <laughs> Welcome to the mm. break. What are they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People would have got to have a while ago. What are they? Envy, Minister of Relationship. I think he's talking about the younger lady. At what age will I say? Hey, hey, hey. I'll be a woman in the bone. The bigger one you want, man. You see, women reach them um peak, romance peak, yeah, at around 45 to 15. Yeah. So I got cool. Yeah. So I got cool. That's why I find love. Them time the man are decline. Yeah. So you know our people are like yeah, like early twenties. Twenties to thirties. Yeah. yeah like, mm. So when our when we are decline, them are go. Yeah. So we go and give one. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, I used to be the second, second chance. chance. Yeah, give them a second chance. chance. Uh, you know, yeah. I say well, man do all the things. Yeah. And if a woman do a one thing. 
was right. right. I used to be like that, but now I just, I just, if I find out it done, no. done. Because, not because I think it's that terrible. Right. Because again, I just, I just skin. And, I and maybe not even a skin nine pounds. Maybe a Wi Fi. Right. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I don't think it's that terrible, but, but how, how, how I've been, how me grew up, mm. I know enough of that man, but what does can't manage that? Okay. And no matter how we tell ourselves, say, all right, we're going to accept it and move on, it does not take nothing for the feelings. It's like you're there on the person, the feeling just come back. So. Especially if I see you see something, oh my God. Yeah, a free play. Yeah, man, Men typically can't that. manage bunny now. They yeah, can't so we, Yeah, we can't really manage bunny. All right. I've tried yeah. and... And, and you know the thing with it though, you know the thing with it, as them say, I mean, we're not gonna be night, right? We know as men, they say, okay, we're physical, blah, blah, blah. And them say, the women, them are, oh my gosh, they're superheroes, they don't, and you know, them know, them know, them know, love you, love you, man, man, them, you know? Mm-hmm. And most of them, women, they are poor, so man, are wicked, they don't want no man, you know, and them are child with you. And then when the father would say, actually, I have them a child with are you serious? You were the lucky customer, <laughs> but it's a whole store or probably another it's customer. Not true, man. You feel that way, can you? <laughs> no, and then and then if you listen to if you listen to Raga, mm-hmm. Raga used to be writing this. Story. Yeah. I mean, if you listen to the woman them are calling and listen to the story. Don't worry then. Every woman the born. Mm. Every single minute. You know, so ladies, if you are if you are out there and you don't think you're the born, you're probably doing it right now. They don't think they're giving the bun, but they are giving bun. I think you see a lot of things that the ladies them do. <laughs> no, a lot, no, a lot of things that the ladies do, you know. A lot of things that the ladies do, you know. If they were, if they saw their man on the receiving end of it from another woman, they would have feel jealous. Amen. You get me? But because you know, she makes sure like the guy, you know. I just feel you know. Yeah. She might give me a skip in the line. You know, right, right. That's what I said. You know, certain things on mine. Like, yeah. You know, once you see, if me say I do something, mm-hmm. and me and myself feel like say, you know, say you and that person they involved. Me even not try to find out. Yeah, but I do the math. Yeah, yeah me. Yeah. Do, if me, if me continue, me continue. With the with the idea that something not going, yeah. I'm alright. But why ask him when he can ask? Uh, yeah. No, because I don't mean, expect if you tell the truth, brother. What do you mean you ask. don't expect? Don't you expect an honest woman in a relationship? I, I, I get what MB is saying. No, first, first things first. You can't say expect an honest woman in a relationship. And here you are having those that the person is cheating. That would mean they're dishonest. Yeah. No, I'm. 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 No. He's a strong, no. mature person. You know, like certain enough things not bother me. Yeah. No things about them. So even you once, you. once, once, <laughs> once we see reach a point where me I say, hmm, yeah, this and I so experience, ex- right? Yeah, yeah. experience life enough. You know, yeah. so once we see certain things, we know want to find out if something not going on. This yeah. Yeah. we just watch it for a moment, and if we see certain things, it's I get out of hand now. You know, yeah, me not, me not bother want know if I that I go on. We just know say I do something. Like me and come for table, and me not go stop it from. Then say you're uncomfortable. Yeah, me I go tell her and then move then on. Then if but she can't stop, then don't. But me no want you stop the thing because. No, 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 no. But you said. and her in a relationship. That's what I can't understand. Mm. So if you're uncomfortable with something and you bring it across the table to say, hey, I'm un- uncomfortable with this, she must respect you enough so to say, say I'm going to, to make stop. Things right. Again, this goes back to my first point: communication. Yeah. Because all of what. Is happening so here. NBC is, mm-hmm. is based on assumption and his perception yeah. and perception is is what I'm saying the enemy of something something yeah. like that. What? And so you know, it may just be that this person and this person. I'm just saying, mm. it could just be that they just have a, 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 a good relationship, relationship and yeah. nothing, absolutely nothing more. But, but, don't but you see, like because that. of. Whatever may have happened in your past, mm. and because you're saying go through life already, mm. and so 
him formulate this idea and I'm going to hear when he proceed to say yeah. he will continue with the motion say XYZ to the point where have, right. it makes him uncomfortable mm-hmm. and rather, rather than having a discussion mm-hmm. rather than trying to ascertain yeah. whether yeah. Rather something like that mm-hmm. is happening and setting boundaries him have already known for the Distance himself, I'm sure potentially. So, you're saying most of these men in these type of situation are not even giving themselves a chance, most no. likely based on post or past. Oh, Alright, so me, me not have one and now I'm going to things. Up. No, but that's not the situation. Most things I mean, observe, certain serious things. Yeah, but even if you see a car at 9 o'clock, right? Yeah? If you see a car at 9 o'clock, right? You get me? And she yeah. said, a class check out. You get me? I said, and this is not want Uber. Mm, I mean, you, all right. You're not going to make certain rush decisions of, of um, just a one off situation. You're going to observe. You're going to pay attention because I don't think we, they just, they don't say nothing to win. You see them at table come and have conversation. They don't have the conversation. When them see certain things, they just watch them. I'm going to tell you because one thing I can't remember, you're going to have this coming up. I'm a temperament of the so we. Make me cry for you, so just, really quick. People! Well, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. So, Alright, you see? Alright, people, we're going to go to the break. Right at this point that we have right now. It's basically, really and truly, communication is at the feet right here, people. And it's like, I've seen the ladies do it, where... Oh my gosh, in phone, I ring two times, nine night. Burn me again, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've seen the men do it. Large shower, come on from work. Where she get man cologne from? Burn me again. And I understand sometimes that you wouldn't want to start the prying because somebody answer to the question. You do want to hear because somebody answer is rough. But sometimes it might not be that answer you have to get. So it's a it's a it's a situation where do I put myself through this again or do I run? If you're really thinking to run, that means you're not ready for a relationship. It depends still, because as I say, I know your partner. People are gonna go to the break or every time. It depends. It depends on what time we get back from the break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 